Hello, my dear. Today, I would like to share with you a very ancient secret. My dear, now, when the world is in a state of fear, despair, and depression, and when evil spirits are trying to provoke people with negative emotions, I would like to offer every bright soul to join our challenge. It is a special practice that we will be doing for some time. It will be divided into five magical parts. If you are ready to join our challenge of good and love, I am appealing right to you. So, we are starting the first part of our challenge. What does it include? Its motto will be, gratitude. This is the quality that is inherent in every person. Remember, when someone does something good to you, you feel grateful inside, and you want to express your gratitude, say, thank you, admire this person. However, sometimes, we do not recognize life lessons as something good. God never gives us something without a reason. We must accept his every lesson with gratitude. Nowadays, when many people are self-isolated, we can sit and swear the entire world. We may shake our fists into the sky and say, God is unfair. Why did it happen to me? Why do I have problems at work? Why do I have health problems? Why do I have to wear this scary mask and wash my hands 20 times per day? Why do financial problems occur? Why am I losing my job? My dear, you must know that the higher powers never do anything to harm you. This is a special time for all humanity to think about how we are going in the wrong direction. The whole humanity is going in the wrong direction. And we have to stop, take a break, think, rethink something. The first thing we will start our challenge of support with during this time of coronavirus is gratitude. Now, take a piece of paper and a pen and start describing those situations you thank God, your family, your partner, your children, and your soul for. Perhaps, this will not be easy. Or maybe it will. Perhaps, you will be able to remember so many situations you will want to thank for. So that you will need several sheets of paper. Now you will be recalling those people whom you are grateful for different situations in life. Perhaps, you will have tears of gratitude. Perhaps, you will be puzzled because you have nothing to remember. You will think the difficult situations are too tough. My dear, you must know that this is temporary. Try starting with something small. Go to the balcony. Look at the sky. See the sun or stars if it is in the evening. And say, thank you, to God for your body soul, for the ability to see this sun, this starry sky, for the ability to breathe fresh air. If you go to the woods, you can walk there and say, thank you, for your children, life, talents, job. Seek for many situations you can say, thank you, to God, people, your relatives, etc. Step by step, new words of gratitude will be appearing on your sheet. I know how gratitude cures our hearts. This practice must be done to remember that the whole world is not our enemy. It is ready to help us if we are open to it. Therefore, our first step is gratitude. After you have done this, see how many situations you have said, thank you, for, are they two, three, 
or maybe 100 situations. Once, I had a student who was very depressed. I told her to write why she is grateful to this world. She told me in tears, I have no reason to be grateful to this world. It is always against me, I told her, don't rush. Think. Tune into your heart, it took her two weeks to express her gratitude and heal because of it. In two weeks, she brought me a thick notebook. It was all written small. In this thick notebook she wrote gratitudes to her relatives, herself, her soul, God. She said, thank you, for all situations that happened in her life. The most interesting thing is that when she faces difficulties now, we all have such moments in our lives. She rereads her notebook and tears start running down her cheeks, and she realizes how little she was thankful. So, if you are ready, let's proceed to the first step, gratitude. I believe that you will be able to do this first step. My dear, if it is difficult for you, I would like to recommend taking your magical amulet into your left palm, if you are a right-hander. For instance, a special stone like this one. Take it into your palm, start writing, and feel how this stone is reaching to your heart, causing you to start remembering the situations you say. Thank you, for. Write them down on a sheet of paper. Feel it. Say, thank you, to the whole world. Then wait for the second step from me because there are five steps. The spirits have brought you here. This means that you are on the verge of a new stage in your life. The discovery of superpowers. Contacts with spirits, the uncovering of your predestination, all of this will be revealed to you at the next seminar. Follow the call of the spirits.